The following video contains content and or language which may be considered unsuitable for younger viewers. Viewer discretion is advised. Dave Madsen Entertainment Inc. presents NET Parodies 8 Let's get on with the NET Parodies. This is Not NET Not National Educational Television What's new? Not much. What's new with you? National Educational Workshop as opposed to the children's television television. For Microsoft Mary and Microsoft Anna, a tub of popcorn for that corny joke. The National Educational Workshop. A new and better place to study and educate for a brighter future. It's where Junior and Bella do their studies. That's right, Dad. The best academy in town. I sure wish I'd gone to that academy, Brutus. Me too, Freddy. But we have our own personal teacher. That's right, Freddy and Brutus. This is not NET, not National Educational Television. And you know, another thing that's new National Educational Organization, a workplace for school teachers and personnel. Natalie was a substitute teacher once. How did you know, Mia? From Jim Justine's video, Teacher Natalie. I'll give you, Junior and Bella, A-pluses, for having such a great memory. This is NOT NET NOT National Educational Television NES National Educational Services Providing services for educational institutions all over the world. NES The opposite of yo? Awkward joke. Awkward joke. <laughs> Our joke was awkward, Dave. Remind me to make an adjustment on the raffle robot. Later, after Michelle and Dave climbed out of the basement pool. I thought NES stood for Nintendo Entertainment System. Then, you should focus on your studies first, before you play video games. I understand, Mum, but I'm just clarifying it to Dave. It's okay, Ben. We all know you like video games, and so do I. This is NOT NET NOT National Educational Television Nintendo Creators of Super Mario Brothers Also The Legend of Zelda, Kirby and Pokemon And don't forget Donkey Kong The Simeon, whose name isn't Simeon Ah yes I remember the time I starred in Pokemon Gold and Silver as the rival trainer character I also remember the time I starred in Pokemon Diamond and Pearl. So you two are Pokemon trainers, huh? How was your experience? I'll be honest, Dave, becoming the strongest Pokemon trainer is very tough, and I didn't stop Team Rocket on my own. But my experience as a trainer is good nonetheless. My experience as a Pokemon trainer is somehow complicated in my opinion. Why is that, Barry? I forced my fellow trainer, Lucas Diamond, to pay a $1 million fine for arriving late. What? That's impossible! I'm serious, Dave Madsen Singers. I was absolutely excited to have my first starter Pokemon, but because I'm in a rush, I forced Lucas to pay a fine for being late. Wow. Just wow. You really are an idiotic trainer. I know, I know. My apologies for my past actions as a Pokemon trainer. That's okay, Barry. All is forgiven. This is NOT NET NOT National Educational Television. NEP National Educational Protection. They protect students from bullies, school shooters, and troublemakers. Especially the notorious B Gang. Of course, my no good Nick brothers, Bernard and Billy, are the bullies in Sam's school. You got that right, Gary. Those absolute asswipes kept on taking revenge against me, for outranking them as the best student in class, even though they are the sore losers and not me. Well, you were always the best in class, 
before you had your control freak tendencies. I don't think so, Mike. Sam had those tendencies when he was born, and some of our friends in 7th grade were very scared of Sam. If I were in that situation, I could have easily helped Sam calm down from his tendencies. No need to worry, Anna. My control freak tendencies are gone, and I still have bad memories of 7th grade, which is the worst school year in my opinion. That makes two of us, Sam. I kept getting bullied to the point that I found myself yelling and screaming my head off, and who got blamed for it? Me! That was unfair! Indeed, and I repudiated that year in school ever since. Good for you, Dave. Just put those bad memories out of your mind so they won't haunt you anymore. That's my duty. This is Not NET, Not National Educational Television. In other words, Next Parody. This is Not NET, Not National Educational Television. Now cut that out! Hey, don't yell at us like that. <laughs> Not again! That's the second time the Dave Madsen singers fell into the basement pool. I'm sorry, Dave. But Zed and I don't like people shouting very loud. They make our ears bleed. I didn't realize that you two got irritated when some of us shout. Neither did I, Astro. And my apologies for my overexcitement on my videos. I just couldn't help it, especially when I shout for joy. Next time, you have to lessen the volume of your microphone whenever you guys record your dialogues. Also, don't shout like you are in caps lock. We'll try Zed and Sturdeck, but it won't be easy. Wait a minute. Isn't it a fourth wall break that I just heard from Zed and Sturdeck? Well, Cedric, it already is a fourth wall break. What a noobsy. This is Not NET, Not National Educational Television. This is Taylor Bradford reporting. A huge wildfire has engulfed the Green Hills Nature Park at Green Hill City. Witnesses say that the weather is very different and it rains firewalls and burns the entire forest. No people and animals are harmed in the disaster. Rumors say that there was an infernal entity who made a huge forest wildfire and it was the same entity who caused a massive eruption at Mount Pocatapoff and the Prince of Darkness and King Dice's endless torture removal program went completely horribly wrong due to an epic experimental failure. King Dice made a serum that can presumably clear troublemakers' minds, but during their experiment, one of their test subjects, who was a troublemaking fugitive of Punchland, went completely insane, destroyed the laboratory, and stabbed himself to death with a scalpel. Then, Ching Dice found out that the Endless Torture Syndrome was literally uncurable and the Prince of Darkness raged in disappointment and his plan of attack in New Rothica has been cancelled due to his massive stress. This is Not NET, Not National Educational Television. Now that's something we didn't expect. First the massive eruption at Mount Papachopov, and now the wildfire at Green Hills Nature Park. I knew it was Magmarina Ash who did that devastating wildfire. Her again? Man, I couldn't imagine how furious Magmarina really is now. She did it because she still wants to take revenge on Rhonda, Wanda, Jean, and my mother-in-law, Julia. We'll be honest with you, guys. Rhonda and I are so scared for our mothers and our family's safety. Magmarina is seriously the biggest threat in our family, and we don't want all of us to be killed. I understand your concern about Magmarina's revenge plot, but as we said many times, there is nothing to fear. The JCTN squad and the Heroes League 98 can help you take that infernal harlot down. I know, Cedric, but it won't be as easy as you guys think. Nothing's ever easy when battling evil adversaries. We'll see about that. We superheroes have something up our sleeves. And what would that be, Johnny? I don't have to tell you. It's a secret. This is NOT NET, NOT National Educational Television. Who are you? I'm Evil Wanda. And I'm Evil Gula. Oh, Tonsillitis. Not another evil doppelganger. 
First evil Ronda and evil Anna, now my evil twin and evil Wanda. Oh boy. I like when those wicked imposters show up. You got that right, Cedric. Oh, I think I know what you two are going to do. You guys know what we're doing? That's right. You, evil Wanda, will try to force Astro and Wanda to get a divorce because you are absolutely furious at Volcarona's death. And you, evil Beulah, will try to get Scotty Jr. and Bella for yourself after Scotty and Beulah refused to divorce. Oh, Flatulence. Those assholes know what we're going to do. This is bullshit. Bullshit, 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 bullshit. We're not bull****. You two wicked imposters are bull****. And you two want to bet on it. Ouch. Our heads. Who the fuck threw those rocks at us? Stay away from our mom and dad, you shitty demons. Yeah. You can't ruin our family like that. You tell them, Scotty Jr. and Bella. You little delinquents just crossed the line. We're gonna shit all over you for this. Ah uh, ah uh, ah, uh, that's child abuse, you wicked witches. If you want to shit all over my children and me, why not shit all over us instead? Oh, you two bastards want to get filthy, huh? Then we'll shit all over you, alright. Let's get them, evil Beulah. Nice try, you infernal imbeciles. We may be covered in massive diarrhea, but it didn't sicken us in the slightest. Now prepare for your eyes to melt. Please, cover your eyes. Here we go again. Astro, are you sure about this? Trust me on this, Dave. It'll be a doozy. Oh man. I wonder what Scotty and Astro are up to. See for yourself, Sam. Oh no, Holy shnikes, Astro! You have massive muscles! Oh, my freaking. Oh dear. Not another major mind blow. But for Evil Wanda and Evil Beulah, their major freakout knocked them down. David and I will take Sam to the in-studio clinic. Now it's time to send those infernal imposters back to hell, mean chicken. I'm on it, Harry! Maximum, Maximum power. power! Double, Double finale! finale. <laughs> If you think this is over, Wanda Eagles, it's not. Magmarina Ash will destroy all of you, and you and Rhonda will immediately surrender to our master. Oh, our raking thinkers. Oh. Sore losers, yes, champions, no. You got that right, Harry! Anna Cedric says, devils may cry. God damn it, son of a bitch, Jesus, some shit, mother fucking asshole, fuck, fuck, fuck. Sewer mouths! Can we uncover our eyes now, Dave? Not yet, Miss M. Astro and Scotty need to take showers first. And Sam is at the in-studio clinic recovering from his major mind blow. Later, after Astro and Scotty took showers and Sam recovered from his major mind blow. This is NET, N -E -T. Not. National Educational Television. Are you guys surprised about our big muscles, Dave? Yes, Astro. You look like a bodybuilder or something. Nah, I'm just working out at the gym and practicing my superpowers. You and me both, Astro. Oh my. Are you alright, Sam? I can't believe Scotty has his muscles buff like Dwayne Johnson. On the contrary, Sam, I didn't use steroids. I was on a high protein diet, and I'm working out at the gym like Astro. 
I just saw you lifting a 500 pound dumbbell, Scotty. No! Really? Really? And his body has gone macho libre. You two obviously smelled what The Rock was cooking. Indeed, Martina. And where have you been? Working out at the gym, like Astro and Scotty do. Wow, Scotty. You're really a strong man after all. Well, you, uh, everyone thought that I'm skinny, but this is how my body works out. You really are a macho man, Dad. A macho man indeed. This is Not NET, Not National Educational Television. Macho Macho Man. I've got to be a macho man. The Village People, 1978. Oh man, I really have to work out like Astro and Scotty. Count me in, Harry. Me too. All of us can go to the gym. We really want our bodies to get ready for the decisive encounter. You said it, Cedric. And I know a perfect place where we can go on a workout. And that place is where Astro and I are having an intense exercise. And what is that place, Astro? I thought you'd never ask. GG Jed, get good and be fit. Muscle. Muscle. This has been a Dave Madsen Entertainment Inc. production.